All right, folks, welcome back to WWE 13. It's been a little while since I've uh, been able to do any videos, but taking care of some sick people, sick grandma, sick little brother, sick mom, and everything. So, uh, but anywho, so we're gonna have Antonio Cesaro taking on David Otunga, Rye Black against Rye Black. This is not Biggie Langston. Ryback versus Heath Slater. Beth Phoenix taking on Christina Von Erie in a Queen of the Ring qualifying match. An Extreme Rules match of Luke Harker, Harper taking on Primo. I cannot talk today. And in the main event, a Triple Threat Tri-County title match. Superstar J defending against Ted DiBiase and Jinder Mahal. So let's start the show with Cesaro against David Otunga. Haven't seen David Otunga in a little while. Uh, this is Antonio Cesaro's, you know, one of his first few matches and everything, so it'd be pretty cool. I've uh, messed around with him in uh, exhibition mode, and he's he's really, really good. He's got some awesome moves. I think I'm going to be using Cesaro a lot. So, here we go! Cesaro versus David Otunga. And actually, coming up on TV on Monday night, uh, it will be Cesaro versus Punk for the Southern Heavyweight title. And, of course, we know that the winner of that match will go on to face Tenzai at SummerSlam. So, here we go. It'll be a interesting little time we have there. Looks pretty good. Not bad at all. And here comes Mr. Otunga. We're going to skip his entrance because I hate his entrance music. It is the worst entrance music in WWE, I believe. Thank you for joining us on this unforgettable night. All right, let's see here. Pick him up for a big backdrop suplex. And some punches to the face here. And a big European uppercut. He does a lot of European uppercuts because that's what he's known for, European uppercuts. Like from all forms of... He could do it from like any position in the ring. So he's awesome. Uh, belly to belly looks good. Big fan of the belly to belly suplex. Big Magnum TA fan. And a half hatch suplex. And going to Irish whip in the far side. Follow it up with the huge spine buster. Got that weird pose he does. Oh, shit. That's not good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! Saito suplex on me now. Folded me up like an accordion. And let's see. Come on. There we go. Reversal. Very nice, very nice. Irish whip into the far side again, and another spine buster. That's fine because his finisher will work on the neck and everything. And I think we're going to have a big swing here, a giant swing. I've seen him get up into the 40 rotations before in a Chikara match with, uh, I think, Frightmare? Really cool match. Big uh, boot there to the face. And the water wheel slam, his version of the water wheel slam, right on top of the head. I know Hunico does a version, and then Antonio Cesaro does that version. It's really cool. Uh, that used to be his finisher when he first started wrestling. It was uh, that and the Ricola bomb, which is a, a pyramid bomb, a, a double underhook arm power bomb. Uh, really cool move. A bicycle kick. And a shining Yakuza kick. Now he's going to rub his face. I love his moveset. They did really good on his moveset. Surprisingly enough, they did really good on his moveset. Compared to others, you know. Uh, also at SummerSlam, we're going to have the debut of Damian Sandow. And, and there's the pop-up European uppercut. That is the best fucking move. Especially when he does it on uh, like a junior heavyweight wrestler. Looks impressive as fuck. Now here comes the neutralizer. Does it a little different on the game compared to uh, how he does it on WWE TV. Here we go for the pin. One, two, and three. 
So Cesaro picks up a big win over David Otunga. David Otunga will go back to the drawing board, I guess. Ever since that Tri-County title feud he had uh, with uh, Ted DiBiase, he's not had a very good luck with things. There's the neutralizer up and down. Beautiful move. Looks really cool. Really good. All right, so now we're going to go to our next match, which is going to be uh, maybe the hardcore match? Primo and Luke Harper? Luke Harper's got something to prove after that first match he had with uh, R-Truth. R-Truth kind of kicked his butt. Budinski. Uh, oh, Ryback versus Heath Slater. Uh, this is like maybe only the second or third time I've used Ryback. I'm just not enamored with Ryback like everyone else seems to be. But he's cool and everything. Like I have no problem with him. But I wouldn't mind seeing him versus Big Show at WrestleMania. Definitely not him and Punk again, though. I don't think it'll be him and Punk anyway. Not bad. He's a little too skinny. And he walks funny. On the game, not on, not in real life. Although he does look funny in real life. Why does he always have pink eye? I don't understand that. Like, dude always has, like, some serious pink eye. Like, is whoever he's rooming with on the road, like, farting in his face while he's sleeping or something? Like, I don't understand that at all. Here comes Heath Slater. Poor Heath Slater's gonna die. Alright. And time to die, Heath Slater. Hope you had a good life. This is it. These two superstars will test each other's And will let's see here. I don't remember any of his moves. Neckbreaker, really? Does he do a neckbreaker? Irish whip. And a huge well kind of a boss man slam. Shoulder tackle. Right back. Squeezing okay, and a uh, scoop slam. Big body slam. Right back. Controlling the head. Another scoop slam. I said I was going to hurt him. I'm going to hurt him, especially with his back. That just takes all of the power out of Gut buster, okay. It's pretty much just power moves. Like, he doesn't have anything, like, you know, amazing. But I guess he really doesn't need anything. He hasn't had a match over 15 minutes, so... Right back. The headbutt. That sounded like it hurt. Bam. There he goes. Okay, so he does have moves other than power moves. That's cool. Slamming his head into the mat. Right back with the arm. With the arm. Ugh. And an elbow to the back of the neck. This has he. I don't think Heath Slater's even touched me. The entire match. Oh! Well, his face is gone. We got a signature. I'm going to do it out on the floor. I'm going to make it hurt. And down with the piggyback stunner. I got to change Superstar J's signature because if I'm going to start using Ryback, I can't have two guys using the same. And that is not how you do the shell shock. Shell shock on the floor. Irish whip into the ring. Roll him over. One, two, and three. Very nice. Very, very nice. Trying to sound like war out here. All right. So yeah, there's that. Me more, blah blah blah. All right. So now I think we're going to do the uh, 
the hardcore match or the women's match. One of them. I don't know. I have a sh terrible short-term memory. Yep, the women's match. All right, so this is a Queen of the Ring qualifying match. Uh, AJ and Eve are the first two competitors to make it to the... Oh, excuse me. Uh, Layla as well. So we have uh, AJ, Eve, Layla, and this will be the fourth competitor. There's Christina Von Erie. Christina Von Erie's really freaking good. Uh, Shimmer, wrestler, shine, wrestler. Started in California for APW and in the NorCal independent scene. Uh, I really don't, I guess I'll be Beth. Um, she's awesome. She was being looked at by the WWE, but I don't think she, they ended up going with like Skylar Moon or Buggy Nova uh, for their like, I guess their metal looking, uh, you know, chick. But now I think they really should take a look at Christina Von Erie again. Since she 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 lives in Florida, so that's like the perfect thing. Yes, what an impact! Oh, she's done. She's done. And a big scoop slam. Knives up to the far side, charging, and a huge shoulder tackle. And a backbreaker? Yes. Oh, this isn't going to be pleasant. Backbreaker? No! Oh, shit! Reverse into a DDT. Phantom? They couldn't find Christina in the created wrestler thing. Knee breaker. Christina Von Erie is my type of chick. I don't know why. Ah, but not tonight. And uh, jawbreaker again. Yanking on the leg and uh. God, the created wrestler's legs look so funny this year. Irish whip. And caught with a big back body drop. And some punches to the top of the head. Got a signature. Make slam her head into the ground a little bit more. Finish her off. And the fisherman's buster. Which really is just a fisherman suplex, not a buster. And now time for the glam slam. <clears throat> and down she goes. Flip her over. Two and three. Beth Phoenix now joins AJ, Eve, and Layla in the Queen of the Ring tournament. So we have four more people to go. We'll have a qualifying match of... Karma and Nikki Bella coming up at t uh, the TV show on Saturday. All right, next, and it'll be an all women's show too. It'll be Queen of the Ring, and then like you know another women's match, probably. I'm thinking that's what it's gonna be. Uh, first time I've ever done an all women show in any type of wrestling recording I've done. So it'll be interesting to see how that works out. It's not going to be the greatest thing in the world because the women on here just aren't that very good. But Alright, so now, Extreme Rules match. Luke Harper taking on Primo, uh, who apparently is going to be accompanied by Epico. Uh, Luke Harper, of course, debuted against R-Truth and got his butt handed to him. So now he's got something to prove in this match. Uh... I love Luke Harper. He is awesome. And if you watch NXT, the new NXT, uh, him and his tag team partner, Eric wrote, well, maybe I shouldn't spoil this. Never mind. Uh, but let's just say for the next four weeks, you folks should watch uh, NXT, whether you torrent it or if you uh, watch it on YouTube. But definitely watch it because it's worth it. 
And of course, he'll be used in my Fire Pro Wrestling videos a lot more too. Uh, I actually have some I actually have some recordings to upload, and he is in the main event of one show taking on Hollow Wicked. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, here we go, Luke Harper taking on Primo in a hardcore match or, or ultra violent extreme rules match. And at SummerSlam right now, the plan is for Luke Harper. La Parka, Epico, and Archers to wrestle in a four-way Extreme Rules match for the Ultraviolet title. Uh, might do a TLC match, I'm not sure. May keep it just regular Extreme Rules. Uh, on TV, it's going to be Hunico taking on uh, El Nitro for the Hardcore title. So, be ready for that. Uh, Luke Harper's kind of kicking Primo's butt here. Big Backdrop suplex there. Oh, he's on the move again. Time to get some plunder. Oh, don't you dare dive on me. Don't you dive on me. Son of a bitch dove on me. God damn it. He dove on me. What the fuck? I was trying to get a weapon and you're going to dive on me. Alright, let's see here. Ooh, my voice just got really loud all of a sudden. Okay, don't know what the hell happened there. Alright, well I thought I'd throw him into the railing to get some uh, time to get a weapon, but it's not going to work. Uh, chair, please. Or a ladder. I'll take a ladder. Don't you hit me while I'm trying to get the... God damn you, you son of a bitch. I hate that shit. You pull a... Why does it take so long to pull a goddamn ladder out? There, eat a billy to belly, you son of a bitch. Let me go over here and get it. Ladder. Thank you. I'm going to put his ass through that ladder so hard. Get up in there. Go. Now get another one. Table. Another Maybe it'll be a TLC match because he's using tables and chairs or ladders and tables so far. I'm gonna fuck him up. Oh, what the fuck? A guitar? Where did a who let that fan bring a guitar into the building? Well, he's gone now. Oh, get off! Oh, he's glitching. He wouldn't get off a lot. Uh. <laughs> Window speak. Ow. Yep. Come on over here to the table. Let's go to the table. In through the table. Oh, come on. That leg hit that table. What the fuck? I wonder what his signature is. I don't know what his signature is. Oh, bullshit. He reversed that. There we go. Alright. Turn him over. You're going through. Oh, flip it. I turned it the wrong way. Dumb move, Jimbo. Dumb move. Okay. Now let's try it for the third time. Maybe the third time's a charm. Well, it didn't look pretty, but he did it. He only went through half the table, but... Okay. And a boss man slam on the floor. Holy shit, that had to hurt. Into the ring we go. We may not need to do anything to the ladder. I think he's going to be dead as it is after this. Yep, gut wrench power bomb, but it actually should be a running power. Oh, he was on the ladder. Oh, he did it on the ladder. Two, three. A gut wrench power bomb where his head hit the top of the ladder. That's terrible. All right. Goodbye, Primo. I don't know if we'll be seeing him anytime soon. We're going to skip all this shit because we just saw it, so. A point. All right, there's the big man, Luke Harper. He's my pick for the hard ultra violent championship match. That's just how much of a mark I am for Luke Harper, or Brody Lee. It is not fucking Night of Champions. It's supposed to be SummerSlam. 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 Not Night of Champions. God damn it. Okay, that's that's my freak out for this week. I apologize. All right. Butthole juicing. Alright, I believe it is going to be main event time here. Try county title match. Superstar J defending against the former champion Ted DiBiase and former international champion Jinder Mahal. Been a while since we've seen Jinder in any type of main event, let alone match. Uh, but he's got a triple threat here. Got to make sure it's elimination style here. 
Alright. Need to have a... I think it... Uh, I think we need to have a first blood match as well. I think we're going to have a first blood match at SummerSlam. Maybe. With someone. Could be a hardcore match. Could do super crazy against El Nitro. Unless El Nitro wins the ultraviolet title from Hunico at TV on Saturday. Alright. Alright, I like it. That's a good idea, I think. See? My brain's working again. That damn flu I had kind of zapped me for a few days. Is that my little bro, too? He didn't eat for six days. I was starting to get worried. Almost took him to the hospital. You little son of a bitch. <laughs> He's sitting right next to me, so he doesn't even... <laughs> he didn't even pay attention. He's playing Minecraft. He don't give a shit what's going on right now. I can fight say, say all kinds of dirty-ass shit to him. <laughs> Call him a little squirty midget and everything, and he wouldn't even... I called you a diarrhea squirting midget. <laughs> All right. I'm going to throw your Gordon Freeman action figure through a window. Okay, he heard that. Okay. Gordon Freeman's not a very attractive looking individual. Does his glasses come off? His glasses don't come off? I need to play it with this game. I don't need to be paying attention to action figures. Well, it's a crowbar. I'd hope it'd come out of his hand. Alright, triple threat match here. Gravity gun's in that drawer right there. Alright, Superstar Jet. What the hell is Ted DiBiase doing? Ted DiBiase's running on the ropes while I'm kicking Jinder Mahal's ass. Interesting. Uh, big back drops, or see, excuse me, Saito suplex on Jinder. Yes, it is two different moves. It's the same move, but it's a different style of the move. So, kiss it. Calf kick on Jinder. Jinder's going to be the uh, weak link in the match, I think. Well, he's getting his butt kicked with these Saito suplexes. YOLO! I hate that. I need to change that shit. That is annoying. Leg DDT. He's left the ring! Oh, oh shit. I gotta, why the hell is Ted bringing in steps? It, it, it has disqualifications in here, I'm pretty sure. Unless I turn them off and don't know it. Maybe I can, like, suplex them on there and say I didn't realize the written steps were there. I wonder if that's ever happened in a match. Like, say a guy suplexes... Like, say wrestler A suplexes wrestler B on a chair, but then look gets up and, like, the ref's yelling at him. And he's like, oh, I didn't know it was there. That might be something that... Yeah, yeah, I need to pass it on to my wrestling friend. He might be interested in using that. Because then he could say, oh, I didn't know the chair was there. The other guy brought it in. I wasn't paying attention. What the fuck? You know, why are you disqualifying me? I didn't do nothing. And then they could come back in a rematch and have another disqualification match. And the match is even better. See? I got the brain for this wrestling stuff here. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of smart. I am a I am a gigantic wrestling nerd. Like, I need to do a room tour where you folks can see all of my action figures, mask, belts, uh, DVDs. The, my DVD collection is like insane. I don't even want to know how many DVDs I have. I got a couple thousand. Reverse power slam in my comic book collection is even bigger than my freaking uh DVD collection. It's, it's insane. Like, I'm running out of places in my room. See, I moved back home after my car accident because my hospital bills were so damn expensive. I couldn't afford my apartment anymore. So, uh, and they still are expensive as hell. $500 a month for prescriptions still alone. Piggyback stunner on Ted DiBiase. Ooh! But anyway, enough of my personal business. Uh, leaping jawbreaker. Gonna pin him here. One, two, two. What the fuck you say? I'm pissed now. I'm gonna start taking out everybody. The fuck happened there? That makes no damn sense. Brainbuster time. Your neck's going down, Ted. Pin. One. If he kicks out of this, I swear to fucking god. Okay. All right, Jindy. Jindy, Cindy. Jindy, Bindy. Jinder Mahal. I'm going to bust his ass open. Come on, you son of a bitch. Irish whip into the corner. 
Face buster! Oh, big face buster. And let's see. I order whip. No, excuse me. Brain buster here. But oh shit, he got out of it. Cocksucker. Alright. Running calf kick again. That calf kick has been my friend in this match. Piggyback stunner on uh, Ginger. Oh, I thought he was getting out of it. That looked weird. Down. Alright. Infinite gaze time. Not gaze. G A Z E. Gaze. What are you doing? Why was Charles Robinson running towards me? Alright. Superstar J retains his Tri County title, which. Bleh, I've got plans for that. I don't know if it's going to be around too much longer. I've got way too many belts in this company. I don't know what I want to do. Picked him up and down he goes. And down and smash. Alright, so now, next show, we're going to do, uh, I believe it's going to be Superstar J taking on Brodus Clay. Uh, we're going to have a Queen of the Ring qualifying match between Karma and Nikki Bella. We're going to have the debut of the Usos taking on Primo and Epico. Oh, we got a cutscene, I think. We do. What the hell? Is that Heath Slater? And Scotty Too Hotty? How is Heath even standing after his match with Ryback? Are they going to turn on me? Or am I going to close on him? Oh, don't join up with them two. Ew. Why them two? Ew. Okay, Heath is, uh, Heath is cool. But why Scotty Too Hotty? I hate Scotty Too Hotty. I never liked Too Cool. Never saw the interest in them. I hated Rikishi. I hated Brian Christopher. I hate Scotty Too Hotty. All three of them are terrible. Rikishi fucking sucks. He sucks, little man. Ah. Uh, what the fuck? Ew, we're just gonna ignore like that never happened. And we'll, we'll say it's like, he's Slater and Drew McIntyre. I'll be the third man of third man band. Or three man band. Superstar J. Will. Ugh. Garbage. -a. Garbage juice. Alright, so now uh, we're gonna go to the next... Uh, Next show, which will be TV on Saturday, but we'll take a look at the uh, rankings here. McGillicuddy is number one contender. Johnny Curtis, Superstar J, and Kane are in the rankings still. Rankings have not moved whatsoever. Superstar J, Ted DiBiase, still number one contender, even though I beat him. I don't think it counts unless it's on, like, a pay-per-view. So all these, like, contender matches that are, you know, title matches that I'm doing, I don't think even matter. But, uh... 